Good morning again from Nashville, Tennessee. Back home here in the covered porch. You can probably hear the thunder. I got run out of the cicada fields. Pretty good thunder we got going on. I got run out of the cicada hunting fields by lightning. It's amazing when one pestilence runs you away from dealing with another pestilence. I don't mean rain, I mean lightning. <laughs> this is uh, when we get back to the sorting table. Now, somebody trying to escape there. Got to keep them wet and cold. Um, what we do is we sort these cicadas in the field a little bit, kind of an initial sorting, so that it doesn't take so much work when you get back home. So, say so you got nice, pretty clean larva for uh, well, whatever, and then you got the winged menace. They're still soft, they haven't turned dark and hard yet, so that you can use them as doggy treats or fishing bait, which is our goal because, you know, it is Tennessee and we are fishermen. So, to sort these cicadas, because when you're out there grabbing them, you can't sort them completely all at once. Pour them in the water because they float. And by the way, this informational video series is for young guys, especially who are trying to figure out the best way to deal with their fishing bait. Bonanza that has befallen us. So, I believe the way to do it, and you got to keep them wet, or they go crawling and flying off on you. So that's the reason for the water. The ice is because a cicada, fragile as he is, and full of protein and nutrients as he is, when he dies, or she, I guess, when he or she dies, the first thing they start doing is rotting, which is why Nashville in Middle Tennessee and everywhere else that has a cicada hatch every 13 or 17 or however many years has a unique smell that we develop which is why some people go on vacation <laughs> some of us only get to go every 13 years so we sort them go through pick out any that we pulled off the tree from their hole so their wings didn't start growing to go into the wingless bunch. See, if it doesn't have wings, I want it over here in the wingless pile. Because that's a whole different category that some of you don't want to hear about. And see, this one had almost gotten to where he was turning into a big, dark, full grown cicada. And that is a daddy, by the way. Um, which he'll go into the fishing bait bucket. And the fishing bait bucket is going to be right here. Don't have a tripod, so I'm doing the best I can. So we get the last of the ones that don't have wings to go in the, the newbie pile. see the ones, some of them that don't have wings are still partly in their shell. You have to kind of pull that off. Discard the shell. Nice cicada larva. Everything else in here. See, he's got his wings about halfway out. But that's still fish bait. Then, because they're floating, you can grab them pretty easily. And get them all separated. And thanks again to the Johnson family for providing me one tree this morning that I could get cicadas off of. Look out. You think the cicadas flying around on you are bad? Wait till they start smelling. Signing off.